this is sad but so cool like this is the cut piece like how crazy is this getting ready to film some content i swear this process takes forever of like fidgeting around trying to get the angle right all this makeshift setup sometimes this process alone can deter me from wanting to film because it just kills the inspiration Saturday and babe and I are having a babe weekend so I thought I would take you guys around with me and see how I prep I'm really excited we're staying at this hotel it's gonna be fun I'm gonna do some house prep before we go Like that's 
So for this trip, I'm trying to look cute and also bringing makeup to things that I usually don't do for like our weekend getaways. Usually I like to be real chill, real comfortable, real like vacation-y. But this weekend, I want to have a bay weekend. So I want to do my makeup, I want to do the works for one day, one day only. I swear this bag was like 20 pounds. but. For this weekend, it was fun. It was part of the vibe. Hey, I want no trouble, man. Wow, one of them sweet exactly. Use the right lanes to turn onto Myrtle Avenue toward downtown. <laughs> How many braids are you gonna want? How many you wanna give me? One. One? Mm-hmm. I'll All give right. you a nice little French braid. Mm. What if I did it to the side? I'm trying to look a little harder than that. So how many equals hard? <laughs> I don't know. But a French braid, isn't that the one that's like introverted? So how many? You can give me what you got. I said one. So then that's it. That's what I wear. And I'll rock it good too. That's, you already just- up the light? No. You already decided it's not hard enough. What do you mean it's not hard enough? You said yes, it is. I'm changing my mind. I can do that. I wanted to do a quick little OOTD. This is my makeup. I'm gonna go and see Kaylani. Just got home, so I'm just doing the voiceover. I'm wearing this hot pink under this black bodysuit. It's like outdoors mm -hmm. <laughs> I loved the way the pink looked under but like I said it's cold it's like and then I guy. ended up putting this top How does it feel to be in Malibu? Wow, you know, I always knew that this time would come. 
feels delicious. It's gorgeous. We can't go to either side, but we in Malibu. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a video. It's catchy choking to that. <laughs> Hold the piss. Hold it. Or donate it to the ocean. We didn't get caught, now we did. <laughs> so cute. But I want to go where Jesus went. I still do. <laughs> did you show? So this man, it seems like, it's like a strip of land that leads to the lighthouse. I can't even see him, oh there he is. And like the water is up to his ankle. So, look at that. Crazy. It looks crazy in real life. National Geographic of me to taking pictures. <laughs> Your flashback. Oh, when we took the picture and you took me for my birthday up to like Geneseo and then we did all that. So are you trying to say we only take selfies once a year? They say if you don't have we don't pictures, take a lot. we don't take a lot it's of selfies. It's real. Yep, exactly. We don't take a lot, but I, I love all this too, though, because we can look back at this. But I tend also. I Get whatever it is. Best place for a day date in New York for free. The views are immaculate. You're like in a bubble of beauty. Yonkers, New York, so you may need a car to get to it, but if you do, please, they have places for picnic, for hiking, it can be an all-day affair, and it's free. change bags I don't like to change bags very often I have my comfort bag this is my comfort bag it's my bag where I leave take this bag and I have no everything's in here 
So while I'm switching the bags out, I can share what's in my comfort bag. So I have this like little pouch, one of those like Ipsy Beauty lotion. It's really like soft, has no scent. I like it. And then I carry like a Purell. I carry like the original one because like I'm really sensitive to scents. So I prefer unscented things. So the sanitizers in these stores are unreliable and they smell like they just have this really bad smell. I don't understand. Like if it's alcohol, why doesn't it just smell like alcohol? Why well, carry backup headphones? I wear Bluetooth headphones. Oh no battery. Please recharge. And they just turn off on me. A backup headphone. Cortisone 10 ointment. I break out in hives a lot. I love that it has this feature in compartments. It's really easy to reach for, so I have a wallet clipped. I have yet to find the perfect wallet, the perfect bag. Thing that I found at Five Below, a paper soap. You press it, it opens a little sheet of paper, and it's like a soap. Again, it's dirty out there. And on my outside pocket, I have gum, a pen, a juicy tube, Aquaphor. This looks gross, but I'm not gonna take it, but it's gross. It's an 800 ibuprofen. Just loose in the front. You, this could be in the emergency. Emergency, I tell you, you never know. I also have this super goop like glow stick, it's SPF. I really like this. It's like glowy when you put it on, but like this easiness. Last thing, I'm gonna start trying to be, you know, conscious. I love, 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 I Pimple patches are no joke. Same pimple, put a patch on it, and look, it is full. Like, it needed a lot of medicine. Gross. So, a pigeon left the egg in my balcony. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Hey guys, welcome back. So, not too long ago, I discovered that. Tanning this summer has defined my shadows in my face. And most people may not enjoy that, but it kind of helps with my hooded eye situation and helps me figure out shadow placement. So I want to show you guys in this video how I cream contour my eyes to lay down the base for my eyeshadow. Ooh, cranberry juice after brushing your teeth. It's an experience. But if you see my eyes, let me look straight ahead. You kind of could see, like, kind of like, let me see. Here we go. Like some shadowing, like on my top lid. So, like, kind of like right here. And then here, you don't see it as much because I don't have like my folds. So, using the shadow, and like I could see it right here in this mirror, like that line, and then this line. So, using my cream contour, I'm gonna define those edges to kind of. So, I'm using this contour color, it's like this color, and I'm using like a pencil brush, kind of like this. The beauty of just New York and what it looks like before it's actually destroyed. And then uh, the third thing I would do is probably mentally prepare myself for war. Because mm. you know why? Why? When I watch the end of the world movies, I believe I'm one of them to survive. <laughs> so I'm 
I'm going to sit here and prepare, mm -hmm. whether it's the zombie, whether it's a tsunami, what does that, that, like? that even look like? What does mentally, look like? baby, mentally. I'm like, is this giving I am not spiritual? I am getting ready to bunker down. Money don't mean a thing. I'm going to have my food. I'm going to have my water. And I'm getting ready to, because, because I do believe that I will be a part of recreating humanity as we know it today. Do you think that that's just naturally how, just your body just naturally after not working out is just going to feel Bro, I have, suited for that? You know what's crazy? Not. Nah, I had three-day periods, so I believe I'm, I'm beating out the snow, the blizzard, whatever. I, and I have not seen all the end of the world movies. I'm not going to lie. Same. You know I love sci-fi. Yeah. To me, the end of the world movies are like, oh, it gets me hyped. Like, I'm one of those that after I watch even... Ooh. Well, the one that was the most real uh -huh. was probably Independence Day. Yeah. Well, that, Independence Day, like, made me, like, because that was just, like, the government being, like, it was just being bombed mm -hmm. and shit, right? Well, yeah, it was also, like, people going up to the roof, like, oh, I do feel like we are going to be overpowered by the robot. Zombies, you mean? Oh, is that zombies? Which one was the I robot? Robot, I robot? I robot, bitch. I robot, sorry. Yeah. Bitch, I, I robot, robot is the one. I robot is the one, and I'm going to find the one robot that's going to want to fuck me. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, climate change and where we're going. Um, but also, mm -hmm. bitch, I ran down another rabbit hole. No, I feel bitch, like that's where all the... I swear to God, they hear or something. That's where all the oh, prehistoric oh, animals are in, no, on the, on the continent of Australia. So I end up, of course, I can't, I ran across on Twitter, and the Komodo dragons, and here's the thing, here. but then I went down into the thread, and they was like, no, that is not real, it's fake, but then I saw, like, bro, look at this shit, look at this shit. The nigga eats a whole goddamn clip and throws it. Hold on, look at this shit. Look, look at the dinosaur, bro. With Beast premiere, yes. which is cute. I thought it was great, to be honest. I thought Idris in that blue suit was great. Then my uh, eyes went somewhere they wasn't supposed to go. Uh, hey, they, they were both y'all. What's up? They were both. They were both dressed beautifully. I um, wanted to picture with both of them so they could all assume I gave them a Mercedes experience too. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I, was, I was looking for both of their ass, like, let me get a picture and go by. I ain't got me intensely here for the beast. Um, <laughs> no, the movie was actually was great, and I think um, we we have not seen it. Yes, for, uh, for making sure that we are always, always good. Uh, good. Yes, but yes, good. It was, what I found really interesting, and that you and I spoke about after, mm -hmm. before going to Prince and Pete for Frida, and we were so happy because so eager. Um, Will Packer, shout out to Will Packer as well, and a lot of the crew came up and introduced the movie, and they talked about South Africa and the problems that they're having with torture. Right. And the one thing that we were both really excited, underlying conversations regarding poaching mm -hmm. and how people, even though there's these reserves that are there to protect the animals, um, and so if you guys watch it, it's, it's really interesting because you have this take on essentially our own our own rules and values like even trying to protect some of these animals it's still the, the laws of the jungle still are, are greater than ours and it's mm. still nature nature always prevails that's also why it's like you know anything apocalyptic is like nah it's definitely gonna be that we're circulating this week i mm -hmm. came across a thread mm. taught women to hate men reject motherhood devalue the roles of wives prioritize money over family Um, because I do believe I have been um, a part of this movement in my da, 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 da. Um, while I do feel like that's a toxic thing to continuously talk about right. um, it's not that women have been taught to hate men they're seducing um, and in an era where we now have our reproductive rights being kind of taken away from us from the government there's now conversations it's so crazy because I was recently out um, with my homegirl, who, you know, recently beat breast cancer, and the conversations around fertility, and even her age, and men being like, well, why you ain't got kids? And just the conversation that people just don't understand. Discussing things, when, in, any, in any conversation, no matter what the circumstances are, when you are speaking out against any level of oppression, mm. the, the tone of the earth, right? Mm. And, and we have lost sight of being able to communicate 
wanted that small slice might mean for some. But we don't have to diminish one in order to validate the other. And we haven't figured out how to communicate that. We have we run into this issue when race with race issues, we yep. run into this issue yep. with including conversations around the LT LGBTQ plus I'll check in my editing if you can really see a difference, but I feel like I can. Like, do you I mean, you are too, you guys want to not alone. Um, oh, so what? Oh, why are you just showing somebody's life? She's here to save the day. She saves the animal day. Look, it's there. It's there. It's there waiting oh, for you. See, sí, abre la puerta. Mira la niña arriba. Mm, don't worry. We coming. We coming with your baby. Don't worry. So there's a scooper. Where's the scooper? Right there on top of that brick. See it? So, How the hell am I supposed to get over there? With this? Well, I guess maybe in the... I don't even know. To the bottom, maybe. I can't think of anywhere else. Anywhere else, she'll like it. Just scoop it through the bottom, babe. Look, take this out before it comes back. It's gonna come back for me, babe. It's been watching me all day. And just scoop it onto that bottom piece. already like that thank you babe pigeon lover you sad that we can't keep it not sad it's just it's a sad it's a sad situation think he'll come back to get him